But this weekend, God gave me a message when I was on the trip with Kathy. I've been questioning whether the world wanted to hear what we had to say. God showed me they're still hungry. The world's still hungry today. I'm going to be reading out of St. Matthew 15 and 32. I'm just going to use one verse. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, Have compassion on the multitudes, because they continue with me now three days, and have, have, and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. You may be seen. I was telling Brother Shane this morning that I had wore the church shirt yesterday coming home. But this all started when we got up there on our camping trip up in Hamilton, Missouri. Right before we left, Kathy put a little old bumper sticker on the back of our pickup and said, I hope you follow Jesus this close. Amen. The old boy that run the church camp up there, or the camp up there, did he come up to check us in? He said, boy, I like your bumper stick. Mm. Then him got to talk. Him and some of the people up there in his church are in a battle tonight. They're up there trying to get pornography taken out of the Cameron School District, out of the public library. They're up there in a fight. Well, me and this man, we got to talking. We got out there by my old camper. I went to hook it up to the power and the water and the sewer to get ready to camp for the weekend. And him and his wife come up there to help us back the camper and to help us ahead to fill and then to come up there for some reason. God gave me a chance to pretty much just preach to him. Amen. God just turned it loose on me, and I tell you what, I was able to get up there. And he told me, he said, "I'm trying to teach my Sunday school class how to pray when people ask them to pray." I brought him back to the old book of Luke, and I told him, "It is amazing how God can put stuff back in this old mind that nothing will hardly get stuck in." Amen. But I got up there and I told him, "I said, you just go to take them kids back to Luke 11." Mike Ergo right there at the deal where God's teaching it, where the, 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 the God asked, or Jesus asked the disciples, he said, what do you have me do? He said, the disciples said, teach us, teach us to pray. I said, I tell you what, if you start studying there, and I said, when you get down and you get serious with these young people, I said, you take them over there to where the rich man went to hell, and I said, you tell them there's somebody in hell today that's out there and he's... They're down there today crying and begging for them to go out and witness to somebody to get them into his church and get them saved. Yeah, I'll right. tell you what, it just went from there. And I'll tell you what, we got out there and by the time I got down there with that old boy, there were tears rolling down his face. His old wife was getting happy when we were standing out there in the campground. The man just took a stand for Christ. He had a deal there with a mud park where they went in there with ATVs. And he said there was too much sand going up on his land. So he just shut the park down and made all his money. It said, if I'm going to stand for God, I don't want him in here That's running right. up and down and drinking and partying on my property. Yeah. <coughs> so he give up half his business, stand for God. Amen. God showed me right there, there's people out there still hungry. Right. Amen. I tell you what, then me and Kathy was up there in Hamilton. Kathy was going up there and after she spent all this money at the end, she, <laughs> she can go up there at the end and they have a little card on their chair that she carried on a little necklace deal to tell them how much she spent to tell her how much prizes she got. She's up there getting the prizes. Well, I sat down there and I got talking to her for She got up there with Kathy and started walking down through there. And that woman said something to Kathy about going to get a drink. Kathy said, we don't do that anymore. She said, well, we give our life to Jesus. And she was able to sit there in a line up there with hundreds of people and witness to this woman about Christ. And she's sitting up there in the line 
I tell you what, today people are hungry today out in the world yeah. today. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, it just kept going from there everywhere me and Kathy went. We had our shirts on. People was like, what's that mean? What's that 1611 mean? And every one of them, we sat there. We walked into Burger King to get something to eat. This woman up there behind the counter, we need to keep her in her prayers. She said, what's that 1611? We said, that's the King James Bible. Amen. Kathy got to work on the weekends. We can't tear them down because they have to support their family. We've got to lift them up. But that woman was hungry for the Word of God. Yeah. And the more Kathy talked to her, you could tell that God was dealing with her. She said, well, I don't understand the Bible. And Kathy said, you ain't going to understand until you start praying for God to give you understanding in the Bible. Until you get a relationship with God. And we had a little bit of a church service right there in the Burger King. Amen. And then me and Kathy was in Walmart. This is the way my weekend went. God was, you, was with us this weekend. Yes. We was up there in Walmart, of all places, right up there in the very front of the store, right in front of the service desk. This little old woman came up to us. She said, what's that 1611? And I got to tell her about her Bible. And she said, well, that's the only Bible I trust. Amen. And I was able to come back with things that I had learned at this church. Yep. I was able to tell her what Brother Shane had brought up Wednesday night there at the, in Sunday <coughs> <laughs> Wednesday night in church I was able to tell her I said the center of your Bible you take the center two words it's the Lord and I said the Lord's in capital and they're talking about Jesus Christ and that woman she, you could just see her getting happy and she said that's something I didn't know and I said they're saying you need to get out and I said you need to learn and you need to study that old book I said, there's a lot of stuff in there you need to know. And she said, well, I'm starting on some of this numerics and learning things about that. I said, there's a lot, too, to learn in this old book. Don't give up. Amen. People are hungry today. I tell Amen. you what, today, don't give up today. Amen. I tell you what, when you, I tell you what, tonight, I wanted to give up. I didn't even want to come. I laid there in bed all afternoon and felt sorry for Gary. But I said, no, God, you give me a message, and I'm going over in my I may not be able to breathe. I may not yeah. barely be able to talk. But I tell you what, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to try to feed them. Yeah. I'm going to give them what you said. I don't want to send them out in the world hungry. I want to give them a little motivation not to give up. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, when yeah. everything's getting tough and everything's getting rough, don't give up. I tell you what, don't be afraid when you're there at work and you don't think they want to listen. They're really hungry. Go ahead and feed them. Mm -hmm. Don't quit feeding them. Get down there and uh, Get in that old book, and I'll tell you what, we're in Bible study. Learn what you can learn, and that way when you're in these situations, you can sit there and you can witness to live lost and dying people that are going to a devil's hell. i tell you what, tonight as a church, we got to get ready to feed the people. Yeah. i tell you what, right, this is this part of the scriptures, right before Jesus fed the multitude with a few fish and a few loaves. I tell you what, tonight, he's out there trying to feed the world with a few people in the church. Yeah. I tell you what, we got a little church here that stands on the Word of God. And I tell you what, we need some men and women of God that are willing to get in and study and learn their old book yeah. and get out there and preach the Word of God and witness the Word of God and lead lost souls to Jesus because the world's hungry today. They've been in a drought today. There's too many of these false preachers out there that are not giving them food. They're giving them. <coughs> Give them things that ain't feeding their soul. I tell you what, today there's souls out there today that are hungry. Right. And I tell you what, today your job is to go out there and feed the world. Yeah. I tell you what, there's a spiritual starvation in this world today. People are hungry today. They want to know about this old book. Yeah. I tell you what, everybody can say it's archaic, but I tell you what. There's a lot of people out there want to hear about what's in this old book. They want people to be able to come out and tell them, say, this is what's going on. I'll tell you what, we need to be able to show them, say, right here, what God said. This is what the old book said. Right. Don't believe what the world tells you. I read get back to this old book and you get serious about this old Amen. book. You Amen. learn this old book and when they're right. telling you what everything's going, you stand up for God and just be, go to witness it. Don't be afraid. I don't care if you're in Burger King. I don't care if you're in Walmart. You may be willing to stand up and testify about what God's done and what's in this Amen. old book Amen. and tell them the world about what he's done for you. Amen. And tell them how he's changed your life. I don't care if you're standing in line with thousands of people around you up there in Hamilton, Missouri, up there with all them people. Don't be afraid to stand there in front of all of them and say, Jesus, save my soul. I don't drink anymore. Amen. God Amen. changed me. I tell you what, Praise if you think Lord. we got it bad down here on radio stations, 
I got out there. By the time I got to Clinton, there wasn't a gospel radio station from then on. Every time we'd find a radio station that sounded like a gospel radio sh station, it was some Catholic hoarding deal. Come on, the next thing you know, they'd be talking about Hail Mary and all this stuff. And I want to tell you today, we're blessed more than we realize. Yeah, yeah our radio stations down here may be bad, but they're a lot better than what we got up there. I tell you what, we need to thank God for what little we do have. And we need to get back to feeding the people. We need to get back to getting in there and telling everybody what's going on in this old world. Amen. We need to stand for God. And we need to get out there and say, God, I'm thankful for the tools you give me here at home. Amen. And I tell you what, when we're out and around in the community, and when we go in places, I tell you what, group of us are getting ready to get on an airplane and head out. We need to be ready and willing to testify for God all our way out there and all the way back. Anybody that we run across, not be afraid. Be studied up and approved to what we know, what God's telling us to tell the people. Because we got to warn them, because there's a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. This Amen. 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 Lord, I tell you what, tonight, we need to be willing to give it all to God tonight. Uh, we need to be willing to stand up and say, God, I give it all to you tonight. Amen. No matter how rough I feel, no matter how bad I feel down, how matter how bad I'm wore out, I'll tell you what, God, just keep on using me. Amen. Keep on giving me what I got to say, Lord. Keep on giving me the words to say, Lord. I'll really give it till I get my last breath. Amen. I'll tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God to be willing to stand up. Oh, and never was a fight, and it's time to fight and witness for God. We need to stand up and say, God, I want to thank you for what you gave me, Amen. not what you going against me. I tell you what, tonight sometimes we get in that poor, pitiful me mode. I tell you what, we need to leave old poor, pitiful me <coughs> mode out. We just need to keep on fighting for Christ and say, God, thank you. Amen. Amen. Right. Thank you for what you've done. Thank Amen. you for, for those that you give me to witness to. Amen. I tell you what, today we need to start being thankful for what we've got. Amen. We can't, we can't be saying, poor pitiful me. We need to get out there and we need to feed the sheep. We need to get out there and feed the ones that are lost and are dying and going to the devil's hell. We need to lift them up. We need to start preparing. We need to get serious about what's in the book. We need to get serious about studying the old book. Amen. We need to get serious about learning the old book. That way, when the time is right, we know what to say. Amen. Amen. We know what to tell them. Yep. And I tell you what, we need to work on winning souls to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I tell you what, we need to get serious about. I tell you what, I was getting, I've been getting a little down because I, I want to see somebody saved. Amen. I just want to see one more get, his life, get their life right. That's right. right. I'll tell you what, each and every one of us need to get back and get hungry again right. and see souls saved. Right. I'll tell you what, as a church, we need to stay hungry. We can't, can't get satisfied. We can't get satisfied and say, we, we're, we're doing good. We can do better. That's right. We can get more souls in here. We can see more people saved. Amen. I'll tell you what, we've got a job to do. Yep. We got a job to feed the people, and bring them in, and get them saved. I tell you what, tonight we need to get serious about trying to get people in this church. We need to get serious about getting people brought in, witnessing to them about the Lord, not being afraid to wear stuff and proclaim that we're Christians. That way, when we're out in the world, we can witness to the lost souls and say, "What's that?" You can tell them what that is. You can tell them what's going on. I tell you what, the, the things when we wear these hats and stuff at, at church. We're proclaiming God to, to the world. We know we need to be where we're ready to portray God to the world. I'll tell you what tonight. We've got to get serious about it. Oh. I'm about to run out of air, but we're going to keep going. I'll tell you what, God, God can take my whole life. God can give me what I need. I'll tell you what tonight. we just got to get serious about feeding the sheep. we got to get serious serious about bringing the lost ones back in. Those that are falling out of church and those that are not coming. We've had some people that was coming here lately that have fell out. We need to try to get a hold of some of those people and get in touch with them and say we need you to come back. Amen. We need you to come back. We don't want you to come back. We need you to come back. Right. We need to have that attitude and say we need you here. Amen. I tell you what, sometimes we're going to have to get a little serious. Look around us and say, God, we've had some kids that was here. We need to get back and get after them and say, God, we want them back. We're not going to surrender them to the world. 
We're going to surrender them to you. We're going to bring them to you. We're going to try to bring them in. I tell you what, tonight, don't give up. I tell you what, if you think that things that are going, you're witnessing somebody and these times are getting tough, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep on firing at them. Keep on getting after them. Brother Shane preached that message here a while back about the hornet. Just keep stinging them. Just keep stinging them. Keep getting after them. Say, I want to, I want to see you saved. I worry about the soul. You can get mad at me all you want, but I'm praying for you. I'm witnessing for you. I'm trying everything I can do to help you. I don't want to see you die and go to a devil's hell. I want to see you come down to no altar, and I want to see you get your life right. I tell you what, we're going to have to get serious about it. We're going to have to start saying, God, help me be the Christian. I need to be the witness to these people. That's right. And God opened the doors I need opened. Amen. I tell you what, God will open doors and times and places for you to witness to people if you'll start praying to God. Right. Yeah. Amen. I tell you what, tonight we got to get serious. Right. Amen. We better have a song invitation before I get too short-winded. But I'm here tonight to tell you, if God's convicting you about not witnessing like you need to witness. Not talking to the people in your life you need to talk to. It wouldn't hurt to come down to an old altar and say, God. Help me with these people that I need to be witness to. Help me be the witness I need to be at work. Help me be the witness I need to be in the world. Help me be the witness I need to be at Walmart. Help me feed those around me. Help me feed the people around today. Lord, just help me.